Greetings ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dukon Kejota Mela and I will be presenting about the risks associated with invasive alien Ipiserus melampaspetesi, commonly known as black faced impala in South Africa. Biological invasions are a large and growing environmental problem globally and in South Africa. Over 2,000 species have been introduced in South Africa, either intentionally or accidentally. However, some of these species have become invasive, threatening indigenous biodiversity and other ecosystem services such as fresh water, transmitting diseases to humans and animals, threatening agricultural production through crop infestations, and resulting in economic losses. For proper planning and management of biological invasions, the risk profiling has to be undertaken. This will also provide evidence to support listing of alien species under the National Environmental Management Biodiversity Act of 2004 and its Alien and Invasive Species Regulations of 2014. The risk analysis framework has been developed and recently published to analyze the risks associated with invasive alien species. The framework is divided into three sections. In the first section is the risk assessment, which focuses on the likelihood of invasion and the consequences posed by the species. The second section is the risk management, which focuses on the benefits of that species and the ease of management. The last section is the risk communication, which recommends the listing based on the risk assessment and risk management. In this study, online publications and databases were used to collate information on the impacts associated with Iepiserus melampaspetesin. It is characterized by its extensive black facial marking with longer tails. It is native to Angola, Namibia, and Botswana. This is the map showing the distribution of Iepiserus melampaspetesin. Noticeably, there are no Indian records of Iepiserus melampaspetesin worldwide. The likelihood of invasion is determined by likelihood of entry, establishment, and spread. There are no occurrence records of Iepiserus melampaspetesi in South Africa, as shown in the previous map. However, the entry of Iepiserus melampaspetesi for wildlife ranching and hunting is likely. Iepiserus melampaspetesi is associated with dry woodland areas and arid environments. Once introduced, the populations are likely to survive and thrive because suitable climate and habitat conditions are present in South Africa. Iepiserus melampaspetesi is not migratory and feather spread can occur through humans for breeding purposes. Therefore, the likelihood of invasion for Iepiserus melampaspetesi is fairly probable. Iepiserus melampaspetesi poses minor environmental impacts through possible disease transmission and hybridization. As a selective feeder, it can lead to changes in the species composition. Based on the fairly probable likelihood and minor consequences, the risk of Iepiserus melampaspetesi is medium. For managing biological invasions, it is important to consider the benefits they offer. The benefits of Iepiserus melampaspetesi are low 
as native impalas such as the black impala and South African black faced impala can offer the wildlife ranching and hunting benefits. The ease of management depends on accessibility, detectability, and time of reproduction. The populations of Iepiceros melampaspetesi can be easily accessible at dry woodland savannas. They are water dependent species, so they can easily be found near water sources within their home range. They can be detected all year. Male and female species mature reproductively at one and one and a half years respectively. Iepiceros melampaspetesi is a seasonal breeder producing a single lamb between December and January. The ease of management for Iepiceros melampaspetesi is therefore medium. No formal eradication feasibility study was evaluated in South Africa. However, South Africa have initiated the Facebook site for tracking and recording the occurrence of black-faced impala across the country. In conclusion, Iepiceros melampaspetesi is not present in South Africa. It is of medium risk with low benefits. The recommendation is therefore to revise the listing from category 2 to a prohibited list with preventive measures. The risk analysis report is currently under the LM Species Risk Analysis Review Panel and possible experts and inputs are welcome to compile a complete risk analysis report. I would like to acknowledge my supervisor, Dr. Svatola Ratlao, and the GIS team in the Biological Invasions Directory. Thank you.